What is going on everybody? My name is Brian or Mr. Creations, but before I get into the commentating subject, this is a COD gameplay. A look at this sexy, sexy ejection from my Titan. Oh, son, get your neck snapped. You got fucked up. No, but, uh, and I'm gonna kill myself with these satchel charges like an idiot. But anyways, getting some Call of Duty Ghosts. Alright, guys, what? 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 Oh, come on, FMJ and I had a ballistic vest on, you are shitting me. Riley got him though, you guys, <laughs> you guys can see I'm pretty pissed off. I actually died like too often assault chem strike, but hey, I do get an assault chem strike. Anyways, second life, new attempt, should have been a double chem strike, like I said, I died like too off. I ended up getting a triple kill on the C flag, it only looked like a double, but it was a triple. I think there was a second guy behind the first guy on the flag, I don't know, something weird. Weird little nerd orgy happening in the back of Charlie over there, but anyways, besides the gameplay, my commentating subject today is going to be a little bit about Titanfall and the views I get on my videos. If you guys pay attention to my views I get on my videos, with Call of Duty videos I average 200 to 250 views a video, which is nice, I appreciate that, that's definitely a good amount of views. The thing I'm a little frustrated about, I guess you would say, is that when I upload Titanfall or Battlefield, I average about 125 views instead of 250. I, I do realize a lot of you guys that have come over to my channel from Thunderstruck Gaming are huge Call of Duty fans, and I understand that. I'm a COD fan too. Well, maybe not after this next one, but I'm still a Call of Duty fan at least now. Call of Duty... in until the next COD comes out, if it's like even worse, I probably won't upload COD in 2015 if it's worse, but if it's better, then I will continue to. All of this year, I will be uploading Call of Duty. That will stay my main game for the next year. You guys don't have to worry about that. I wish some people wouldn't worry so much what's in the background. No matter what game I play, you guys can expect insane gameplays from me. At least I'd like to think so. My standards are pretty high gameplay wise. I just wish more people would stop by for my commentaries and I do appreciate my very loyal subscribers that watch every single one of my videos for me and my commentating style and what I commentate about. Not really so much about the gameplay. That really does mean a lot. That just shows that you guys are real loyal subscribers and I really do appreciate it. I can understand you guys don't like Titanfall or Battlefield gameplay. If you still enjoy my commentaries then you know you could always uh, watch that Titanfall video anyways and pull up another uh, internet tab and, and search up whatever while you're listening to my commentaries. I just urge you guys to watch my Titanfall Battlefield videos as well because you're missing out on, in my opinion, somewhat good commentaries and, and subjects I talk about sometimes are cool and interesting topics on different gameplays. But anyways, talking a little bit more about this gameplay, it is a failed double chem strike. I died like two off the first one. I ended up getting the second one. Uh, some special things about this, it is a solo chem strike on Domination on the Xbox One in Sovereign as you can tell. And this color correction looks so much better than that green shit I had on my screen when I was playing Whiteout a day or two ago. It absolutely looked like shit. Reasons for that was, this is actually the same color correction. The reason it looks so bad on that um, snow map is because the color correction didn't look good because it was Xbox 360 graphics to start with and I had colorblind assist on for some reason. So the colors were just really, yeah, it didn't look good. This, in my opinion, looks gorgeous, absolutely amazing. But I want to talk a little bit also about next generation consoles, the PlayStation 4 and the Xbox One. Oh my god, I know, I can tell the comment wars are already going to start. Um, personally, the only reason that I bought the Xbox One was for Titanfall game exclusives, you could say, Gears of War games, Halo games, Titanfall. That's the reason that I ended up buying the Xbox One, as well as a majority of my friends getting it. Um, it obviously, I mean, statistically, if you look at it, it's the inferior console compared to the PlayStation. For gaming, anyways, obviously the Xbox One focused, in my opinion, too much on a full entertainment system instead of a gaming console. If I wanted an entertainment system, I'd buy a Blu-ray player, which I already have, so really it's kind of worthless to me that I can plug in the cable box into my Xbox. It's it's stupid. Nobody watches TV anyways. I actually, I did a commentary on that. Nobody watches TV nowadays. But um, that's about it. All I have to say today. Thank you to everybody that commented 
um, happy birthday on my last video. I really do appreciate it. Man, I feel 100 years old from yesterday. No, I'm just kidding. I feel no different at all. Um, right here, I pick up the chem strike, as you see. I was pretty impressed with myself. I was pinching myself that I did not get a double solo assault chem strike. That would have been so amazing. If you guys don't know, using assault and getting chem strikes is the hardest thing to do. Using support and specialists obviously helps out a lot, and Riley coming up big there. But anyways, hopefully you guys did enjoy the video. Let's shoot for 50 likes again. I really would appreciate it. Subscribe if you're new, everyone. Would mean a lot as well. And thank you for stopping by, everyone. I will see you in my next video. Report to command for debrief.